Hello guys, my name is Nick. I have a YouTube channel. I solve all the hacker rank and leak code problems. I have playlists if you want to check them out, or you can check the description below. Here are here's the question we're doing today. It's called balance brackets. It's very popular. This is in the stacks and queues section of the interview preparation kit section of the practice section on hacker rank. HackerRank is an interview site, interview preparation, job preparation, coding preparation website that allows you to do problems and get smarter like me. I'm a genius. Just kidding. Okay, so this is a very popular question. I get asked this on a lot of interviews. Um, I've seen it a million times. How's it going? Arc is static. Um, a bracket is considered to be any of the following characters. We have all these brackets on our keyboard, right? We have these parentheses, we have these curly braces, and we have these index brackets, right? Um, very, everyone should know these. Everyone probably has used them if you've used a computer. Two brackets are a matched pair if we have an opening and then a closing brace. So they're considered to be a matched pair if there's opening and closing braces. Remember that. A matching pair of brackets is not balanced if the enclosing is not matched. So you can have multiple braces. So these match, but obviously these don't match because these are different. So one of these would have to be put inside the other one if you wanted it to be balanced. So structurally, they have to be balanced. So what we're doing is we're implementing a function called isBalanced where we loop through a string of characters, of braces characters, and we have to return whether it's matched or not. We're going to return either yes if it's matched or no if it's not. Um, so we could just read this one last thing. By this logic, we say a sequence of brackets is balanced if the following conditions are met. It contains no unmatched brackets, or the subset of brackets enclosed within the confines of the matched pair of brackets is also a matched pair of brackets. You can read into that as much as you want, but obviously it's just pretty straightforward. They all have to have an opening and closing, and they have to match up structurally. Um, all characters are in the sequence, so we don't have to worry about other characters. These are the rest of the constraints are just the length, just really big integers and stuff. Um, so for each string, return yes or no. That's pretty much it. Let's begin. This is a basic stack problem. I've done this multiple times. I've implemented this. I've done this video multiple times, so I'm a little bit on edge here. But um, you just take a stack. Let me explain how we're doing this, and then I'll do it. You have a stack of characters. And how a stack works is you put things on and you take them off. So if we see an opening brace, we're going to always put it onto the stack. Because there can be a ton of opening braces, but they just all have to have matching closing ones. So whenever it's an opening brace, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to put it onto the stack. When we see a closing brace, we just check whatever's at the top of the stack. Because when we see a closing brace, the top, whatever's at the top of the stack has to be the corresponding opening brace. And if it's a match, then we keep going. If it's and we pop that off, opening one off the stack, if it's not a match, then we return no and we're done. Make it through the whole thing, we return yes. Let's implement this perfectly, hopefully, first try here. Um, so we loop through the string. While i is less than s dot length, that's it, that's the condition, you loop through. Then we're gonna check the current character. If the current character is an opening brace, and there's three of them, we write it up top. There's the open parenthesis. There is the opening curly brace. And there is the opening bracket brace. So if it's any of these, like I just said a second ago, all we have to do is push that current character onto the stack. Very simple. Otherwise, we have to make sure that, otherwise that means that we're going to see a closing brace. Because the only characters in this string are opening or closing braces. So otherwise we're going to see a closing brace. So we're going to check the top of the stack. If it doesn't have the corresponding opening brace, then we return no. That's the only other part of this problem. And what we can do to speed this up is just check if the stack is empty right away. If stack is empty, then we're going to return no. Because guess what? There's no corresponding opening brace. Return no. So that will just speed it up if it is empty. Otherwise, here we go. Here's all of our conditions now, just like the ones up here. If we're going to see a closing brace of a closing parenthesis and s.char, nope. First of all, let's get the pop value. Already messing up here. 
we'll get the pop value from the stack. So we pop the we pop the value off the stack. We're, whenever we see a closing brace, we pop the value off the stack. <laughs> if the we see a closing parenthesis and the pop val is not equal to the corresponding opening parenthesis, we return no. And we do this for all parenthesis closing brackets. Don't mess up here. Okay, here we go. The return no will be in all of them too. We just have to make sure the conditions are good and then we're done. Okay, so we have this closing brace, we have this closing bracket, opening brace, opening brace. So one, and then we'll, then down here, one more thing that I wanna explain is we're popping the opening values off when we see a closing brace. So at the end of all of this, at the end of this whole problem, this whole method, if the stack isn't empty, then we're going to return no. So if stack dot is empty, we can just simplify it like that. If stack dot is empty, we'll return yes. Perfect. We made it through. Stack's empty. All balanced. It's a return yes. Otherwise, return no. And that is the end of balance brackets. You use a stack. I'll explain it one more time in a second after we run it and make sure that it works. There we go. It works. No pray. Third time making this video, I had some interruptions. Um, there we go, it works, there we go. So we did it great this time, guys. We made it through. I'm taking a breather right now, the third time. Um, and you let me explain it one more time. We're checking that these, we're given a string of braces. So ex for example, this one, and we wanna check if it's balanced. If you look at this, it's not, because there's intersections here. We would want this brace, we would want to push this brace outside of this brace, and we want a corresponding opening and closing brace to match up as we loop through the string. So how do we do that? We have a stack, we push opening braces onto the stack whenever we see them. When we see closing braces, we check for the corresponding, we pop no matter what, and we check for the corresponding closing uh, opening brace with that closing brace. And that's pretty much it. And then at the end, the stack should be empty. We return yes or no, and that's it. So um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have a better solution. The editorial has this pretty much the same solution. So uh, just let me know. And um, thank you guys for watching. That video actually took effort. I know it's not even that hard of a problem. I've done it a bunch of times. It just, I had these so many interruptions that I had to like, I've been getting frustrated. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're usually a lot better. So thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.